I'm Jamila James. I'm curator at the Institute of Contemporary Art Los Angeles, known as the ICA LA. We've been open since September 2017 here in the Warehouse District in downtown Los Angeles. We currently have a very strong focus on emerging artists and Los Angeles artists who have not had significant mid-career support. We also work very closely with displaying new and contemporary models of artistic production. We're very supportive of performance, time-based media, video, and kind of experimental ways of thinking and producing work. Sarah Kane is a Los Angeles-based painter. She's been living here for over 10 years. Sarah Kane's process is very improvisational. She does a lot of work that responds directly to the site that she's working on when she's doing these site-specific installations. It's the first site-specific work that we've done on that wall. It is a very challenging space, but it's also a very fun opportunity to challenge artists to think in ways that they haven't. She calls it a painting installation because it not only incorporates painting as we understand it to be a stretched canvas, canvas with paint on top of it, but also some installational elements. So for instance, with our installation, there's vinyl tiles that are on the concrete that extends the painting on the brick wall into the parking lot space. There's also a bench that is incorporated in the installation that Sarah painted. Skip Arnold is a longtime Los Angeles-based artist who is now in Marseille, France. He was a major fixture on the performance art scene in Los Angeles in the 1980s and 90s. He studied at UCLA. He worked with Chris Burden and a number of other people. He has really struck out a really unique niche in performance in the city and that his body is often the, it is the object and it's also the subject. Skip is known for his endurance-based practice. There are two distinct parts of Skip's work. There's the earlier work that really explored the limits of masculinity and its performance and also violence and how that can be portrayed in a performance context. And then there's the more recent travel-based work where he is shipping himself or being put on display in various situations and also still testing the limits of his body. There's work where he strapped himself to the front of a truck. There's work where he stood as a gargoyle at, on front of a building in Europe. There's another work where he was in a body bag essentially laying in a public plaza. This exhibition is called Skip Arnold Truffle Hunt. It is guest organized by a local independent curator named Rob Green, who used to run Green Exhibitions in Hollywood. The idea of presenting this informal archive of an artist's trip abroad to do work, but also to enjoy rest and leisure was really interesting as a prospect for us. The Truffle Hunt is staged in the museum's project room, which is approximately 750 square feet. It's a space that's dedicated primarily to emerging artists, but also to projects that are of a more experimental nature. Truffle Hunt is a very distinct work in that it doesn't show Skip doing his performance work that he is known for, but more kind of the atmospherics of his practice. This is a trip that he took with a couple of artist friends to go to another artist's opening in Zurich. So there are elements of the travel that has been a part of Skip's work for the last several years, but it's a different way of thinking about travel. 
the exhibition is comprised of several different parts. There are collages that Skip made of some of the photographic documentation that was contained in the briefcase, which is really the nucleus of the exhibition. There's also ephemera, all kinds of postcards, road maps, there's nail clippings, there's used band-aids, there's a picture of Cindy Crawford, there's a whole host of ephemera that's contained in a vitrine uh, that's at the center of the gallery. There's also the briefcase, which contained all of these things for the last 25 years that Skip had stored in his studio. The exhibition also has seven single channel videos that were digitized from 16 millimeter film that Skip shot while on this journey with his friends Hans Weig and Julian Bismuth and the late Jason Rhodes. The culminating activity of Truffle Hunt was a dinner party that was hosted for the artist Richard Jackson that contained meals and snacks that were made from the truffles that Skip and his comrades collected. With Truffle Hunt, I think it's something that is timeless and that the personal archive is something that keeps coming up again and again for artists to think about different ways of monumentalizing the small, minute gestures and materials that come through their lives. Because this is not quite part of Skip's practice and kind of a sidestep of his larger work, we can think about Truffle Hunt as a research project that he undertook to kind of expand the ways that he thought about traveling, especially since his work around this time was about his body traveling through space. So this is more of a leisurely take on that. And it was undertaken as a collaboration with a number of artists. It's important to present an exhibition like Truffle Hunt to the public that visits ICA LA and that it presents a different way of thinking about what an artwork can be. It's a personal archive that's assembled from a vacation essentially that the artist took with a number of his friends. And one way that we like to frame this exhibition is thinking of the different ways that artists can make their work. It doesn't necessarily always have to be an active presence in the studio or an action onto a painting or a sculpture. It can be these moments to pause and rest that can constitute an artwork, or at least, at the very least, inform what an artist does going forward.